shout it loud, hallelujah. For all those who will locate the forehead of their Goliath here tonight, let them shout it loud, there's hallelujah. And if you know that that's from tonight, with your feet you shall possess your possession. Shout it loud, there's hallelujah. Who has the final say? Jehovah. Sing it loud and clear. Who has the final say? Jehovah. And the final say, Jehovah. Of my life, around. Oh, Jehovah. Of my life, around. Oh, he makes a way. There's no way. Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah comes my life alive. Jehovah comes my life alive. He makes a way when it seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. I have a God that you never face. I have a God that you never face. I have a God who never face. Who never face. Who never face. I have a God. I have a God who never face. Hallelujah. I have a God who never face. Hallelujah. I have a God who never face. Who never fails, who never fails, forevermore. Amen. Amen. Jesus never fails. Amen. Jesus never fails. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. God, 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 God. It's a miracle. What is God? It's a miracle. Is the Alpha and Omega? Is a miracle walking God? Hallelujah! Is a miracle walking God? Hallelujah! Is a miracle walking God? Hallelujah! Is the Alpha and Omega? Is a miracle walking God? Hallelujah! Is a miracle walking God? Hallelujah! Walls of Jericho of that flight, the walls of Jericho fell that flight. When children of God were praising the Lord, the walls of Jericho fell that flight. The walls of Jericho fell that flight. The walls of Jericho fell that flight. When children of God were praising the Lord, the walls of Jericho fell. Hallelujah. Jesus, oh, in the name of the Lord, the King of the Lord, the King of the Lord, the King of Oh, 
you are in a very special service if you have found your way here the lord has an agenda for your legs and that's why you are here this was a prophecy those who would like to claim it have to claim it with seven loud resounding amen if you want to receive it the louder your sevenfold amen the better but hear the word of prophecy first before you begin to shout your amen if you want to claim it i decree upon you that you will become poison to the enemy amen but i've not finished though don't finish let me finish what i'm saying you will become poison to the enemy and also become a book they cannot read in the name of jesus listen to this all the satanic bullets fired against your harvest shall backfire in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus every power assigned to stop your advancement shall be treated like Pharaoh in the name of Jesus Thank you Jesus And this one, don't tell anybody say men be louder than yours. The warehouse that has been keeping your blessings shall be forced open by the power of God. It shall be forced open. It shall be forced open. It shall be forced open. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray now let your amen be dynamic as I pray and after that prayer I'm going to ask you to pray too Father we are gathered here tonight we have no power of our own you are our power you are our strength there are people here tonight that the enemy has been afflicting for years there are people here tonight who have been saying when will my deliverance come there are people here tonight that even family members have gathered together to mock them there are people here tonight who are hearing we shall see what your God shall do father as it is written that the God whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple father as the Lord of the suddenness arise for your people gathered here in the name of Jesus oh God arise arise Arise, 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 in the name of Jesus. Father, as many as are in this gathering now, and there are virtues belonging to them locked up in the grave, or locked up in the forest somewhere. Or locked up in the waters at the count of seven from here let that yoke break instantly one two three four five six seven aha that's the first person that's number two, that's number three, that's number four. That's the power of God coming upon them. Just be released. Be released. Doesn't matter who handed you over. Let the chain upon the head be broken. Let the chain upon the neck be broken. Let the chain upon the womb be broken. Let the chain upon the legs be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. Father, all your children who are gathered there and wherever in the world anyone is watching us live, 
or whatever they will watch this let the fire of the God of Elijah begin to break every stubborn chain now in the name of Jesus let the chains be broken let them 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 be broken in the name of Jesus You spirit of paralysis, hear the word of the living God. You the cobweb spirits, hear the word of the living God. You the manipulation of the dream with witchcraft powers, hear the word of the Lord. That place where you are is not your habitation. Lose your hole in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak against the blockage in the throat. The blockage and bloating in the intestine. I speak against the heaviness in the right leg and the left leg. I speak against witchcraft arrow fired into the head. I speak against the serpent moving about in the legs. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Something great is about to happen. Father, these hands that are stretched here. Your word says, we shall lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let the power to recover fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Let the hands of fire and power fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Let these hands break every yoke of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Let his hands destroy every plantation of darkness in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready. Anywhere there is infirmity in your body, even if it's very painful, smite it 21 times. Shout him back to the sender. Back to the sender. Many things are about to disappear. Many things are about to go back to the senders. But do it aggressively 21 times. Let's go! Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before you got here. Immediately you found that you have been healed. Don't let the devil put it back. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Run quickly to this altar here. Don't let the devil put it back. Something has happened to one woman over there. She still could not believe it. Yes, it's gone. That is the power of God upon your life. That body is still shaking, but run quickly to the altar so that the devil will not put the problems back. That's right. Every problem you have been battling with all these years, look at the fire of the God of Elijah melting them to ashes. That's right. Just try that hand. Try that leg. Aha. And run quickly to the altar here. If you could not run before you got here, receive the strength now. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Get yourself ready now. This prayer. Pray it the way you've never prayed before. This is not a day to negotiate. This is a day to cry to the heavens. Can you shout this loud and clear? Power! 
has that stop my parents. You cannot stop me. And I hear you shouting this one. In the name of Jesus, deal with those powers. Powers that stop my parents. You cannot stop me. Yes. 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 Enough is enough. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. That's right. Silence. Something is going to happen to 21 persons. These 21 persons have been suffering from constant witchcraft attacks. Every night they are under attack. The power of God will fall upon you right now. You may not be able to stand on your feet, but don't worry. Whatever covenant is tying you to them will be shattered to pieces at the count of seven. At the count of seven, they will be shattered to pieces. And immediately that power falls upon you. Long term problems shall disappear. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. Number four is on the floor over there. That's the power God coming upon you. You cannot hide. I've been hiding for years. Whatever covenant is tying you down with any serpent power, with any spirit husband, with any spirit wife, by fire, let that covenant be broken now. In the name of Jesus. Number five, number six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aha. Aha. Can you shout this again louder than anyone here? This is not a prayer that you pray sitting down. Powers! Troubling my future. Can you shout this loud? You are a liar. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. It is a decree. It is a decree. Yes. Right there where you are. Be set free. 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 My part has set tender. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, we cover the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. Lay your hands upon your people here. Affliction will never rise again. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Hallelujah. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. Hallelujah. I am that I am. I am the lion. Hallelujah. Go on, tell Pharaoh, I am the lion. Say it again. I am the lion. I am the lion. Go on, tell Pharaoh, I am the lion. Come on, die. I am the lion. I am the lion. Go on, tell Pharaoh, I am the lion. They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of the Lord in my life. They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of the Lord in my life. Turn to somebody and say, They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of the Lord in my life. Hallelujah. They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of the Lord in my life. Turn to somebody and say, They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of the Lord. Father, as we enter into this particular segment of this service, lay your hands upon your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Please let's have a seat. God bless you. Romans chapter 10, verse 15. As we look at deliverance of the feet and why it needs to be done. In Romans chapter 10, verse 15. Romans 10, 15. It says, And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Straight away, that pregnant passage is telling you that human legs are divided into two categories. Beautiful feet, ugly feet. Spiritually beautiful feet, spiritually ugly feet. The feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, they have beautiful feet. There are some feet that have other messages that are negative. The psalmist understood this principle in Psalm 22. Look at what it says in Psalm 22, verse 16. Psalm 22, verse 16. It says, for dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. And look at what they did to him. They pierced my hands and my feet. I'm praying for anyone here whose hands and feet have been pierced by the enemy. That they will receive their deliverance tonight in the name of Jesus. If they pierce the hand and pierce the feet, of course, physically, you know the effect. Listen to me very carefully tonight. There are some places, when you go to those places, if you don't come back home and begin to break curses off your feet, 
you get into trouble. Unfortunately, defeat is always mostly neglected in spiritual warfare. Most of the time, we concentrate on just washing our heads, anointing our heads. But defeat is very important. When in the white man's language, they say you have you develop cold feet, it means you are backing out of somebody, something. You are changing your mind. Say so you have cold feet, referring to defeat. When they say somebody has the foot in the mouth, it means that the person is saying the wrong thing. He's saying something that is not appropriate. When they say, put your feet down, put your feet down, it means to be firm and to be strong. They're talking about feet there. When you go to follow somebody to eat, and the person says, excuse me, where we are going? You are going to foot the bill. It means you are going to pay. You, the person will pay. If they say, get on your feet, it means get established. I'm saying this to you so you know the importance. When they say you are stepping on toes, means you are talking about things which others would not normally like to talk about. And so when you talk about the arena of worship, the feet is there. He said to Moses, take off those sandals from your feet. Where you are is a holy ground. We read in scripture that a woman came to Jesus, poured anointing oil on the legs of Jesus, began to wash the air with her, wash the feet with her hair, and began to kiss the feet of Jesus as a form of reverence. In the Bible, when they say you put your feet on the neck of the enemy, it means that you are defeating that enemy. The Bible says, the Lord says unto my Lord, be at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. So you can see the importance of the feet, even in our day-to-day languages. I may be dangerous to even neglect them. In Psalm 8 verse 4, Psalm 8 verse 4, it says this, Psalm 8 verse 4, What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visited him, thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his words, feet. He has put all things under his feet. The mystery of the feet is something that many Christians don't understand. As far as heaven is concerned, and as far as God is concerned, your feet has been empowered by God to establish your dominion. Your feet has been empowered by God for rulership on earth. It is with that feet you have dominion. He said, every place the soles of your feet shall tread. He said, I will take it for you. But your feet must go there and walk first. If that feet has a problem, then shame and disgrace is the outcome. There are plenty of people with cursed legs. There was a man we prayed for many years ago when we were still in Old Jabba Road. He was going to walk in the morning. And as he was going to walk in the morning, something got stuck to his sandals. He pulled out his leg. The sandals fell down. As he moved forward to put the sandals back into his legs, he stepped into hot feces. And he said, what is this? So he rubbed the leg on the sand, rubbed the leg on the sand. But right from that day, his life totally changed. Nothing good was coming again. Bad luck began to trail him. That day when he got to work, they sacked him. I'm praying for anyone here whose leg is cursed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every curse upon that leg break in the name of Jesus. A seven fold amen. So in the Bible, when they say they put somebody under your feet, it means subjection. When the Bible says they bruise the heels, it means attack. When the Bible says you tread something, tread upon something, it's the symbol of subduing and conquering the thing. He says, I have given unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. 
and to tread upon every power of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt you but if there is a problem on that foot spiritually it will not be able to establish your dominion so technically those legs are the symbol of your possession instrument of your establishment once your feet is blessed and beautiful hindrance will give way at the presence of your feet your Jordan of hindrance will give way once that feet is blessed that feet is also your instrument of protection and direction it could be instrument of deliverance as written in Psalm 25 verse 15 the instrument of deliverance for you as written in Psalm 25 verse 15 my eyes are ever towards the Lord for he shall pluck my feet out of the net to pluck my feet out of the net that your feet is also your, the instrument of your expansion and progress you expand you grow look at what it says in Psalm 31 verse 8 Psalm 31 verse 8 and has not shut me up into the hand of the enemy thou hast set my feet in a large room is the key to your establishment and ability is the key to establish your dominion over your enemies therefore that your feet is a weapon of warfare a polluted a weak or a paralyzed feet cannot succeed in the battle of life and when that feet is under attack it can be caged it can be tied it can be defiled it can be amputated spiritually it's not even there it can be paralyzed it can be weakened it can be changed then it can be cursed there are many people walking around with cursed feet they walk into a business the business collapses they walk into marriage marriage collapses it's cursed feet look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 Deuteronomy 28 verse 20 Deuteronomy 28 verse 20 the Lord shall send upon thee cursing vexation and rebuke in all that thou settest thy hand unto on, on to, to do, until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly, because of the weakness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me. Now look at verse 19. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. All having to do with the feet. So feet can be cursed, it can be injured. It can be cobwebbed. It can be broken. It can be twisted. It can be rendered impotent. It can be suspended. It can be covenanted for evil. It can be remotely controlled. It can even be exchanged. It can become possessed. There could be things in the legs that has taken over that leg. If the feet is bad and is not beautiful, that kind of feet will always be walking to trouble walking into danger any environment that legs get to there will be death and bad luck such legs they will be arriving late at the place of honor they walk into frustration and disappointment they do business the business is not stable career marriages relationship trouble some walk away from honor some just possess vagabond powers. They just go from place to place. They don't even know where they are. Those with bad feet, their entrance brings sorrow. Their exit brings joy. They bring bad luck. I told you the story of one of my friends many years ago. They used to go to somewhere to do business. Normally they leave at 7 a.m. in the morning. That day my friend arrived there at 7 a.m. He didn't find the seven colleagues they used to go together where did they go so he went back home second day he got there again at seven they had gone what's happening here? so third day he went at 6 a.m he didn't see them too they've gone so the next day they arrived at 5 a.m when he got there at 5 a.m he found that they were just leaving he now stopped them so, excuse me we do this business together why are you uh, abandoning me why are you going without calling me? They were all looking at each other. There was a white man amongst them. The white man answered, said, The honest truth is that we have discovered 
Anytime you go with us, things don't work. But since we started dodging, things are now working well. That is a bad fit. I am praying for anyone here. Any curse, any chain upon the leg, I command them to be broken in the name of Jesus. Some legs bring bad luck. May you not enter into a very cool that people with bad feet have also entered. When the feet is bad, there will be geographical confusion. This will always be wrongly positioned. There will be acidic poverty. There will be constant bombardment of demoting powers. This is why this special program is called, which is going to last for two weeks. Because we are starting now, and we are concluding next Wednesday. Meaning that you still need to bring your anointing oil back again on Wednesday. Bring out that oil now. And stretch it towards this altar. Stretch it towards this altar. You can remain seated. Just stretch it towards this altar. Father, this oil that we brought here today, let it be the oil of fire and power. The oil of deliverance and glory. The oil that will break every yoke of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Flow into this oil in the name of Jesus. Now put the oil on your palm. And rub it on your two legs. Down to your feet level. Start with the right leg. Then go to the left. Rub it, rub it. The legs and the feet. As if you are massaging the leg. Aha. Look at what is happening immediately. A sick hatena. The feet of somebody is on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. Say, I place this anointing oil on my feet. To sanctify my work, I receive the anointing to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy according to the word of the Lord. Nothing shall harm me. I shall not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. I shall not stumble. I shall move and I shall not be paralyzed. I shall not walk into slavery. I shall walk every day in victory and liberty. Anywhere I step into, the Lord will give it to me. There shall not be anyone who will be able to stand on my way of progress all the days of my life. A sevenfold man. Put a little bit of oil on that hand again. Lay that hand with the oil on the right leg. On the right leg. Thank you, Jesus. A Neman operation is about to start now. The right leg. Makapote setenda. Father, I stand there as a servant. Any possessed leg, any leg that the enemy has infiltrated, you the strong man in the leg, I bind you now, I cast you out. I bind you, I cast you out. I bind you, and I cast you out. I bind you, and I cast you out. I bind you, and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. We are still on the right leg. Get ready to smite that right leg now. One. Something is happening over there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Aha. Put the oil on your palm again. Now the left leg. Makatenda yabo shentia. Ribo sepia le katenda. Any plantation of backwardness, any agenda of backwardness upon that leg, every 
any plantation of darkness on that leg. I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Get us up ready again to smite that left leg very well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's happening? That is the surgery. It's taking place. Now you need to lay your two hands upon your two legs and pray these seven prayers on your legs. Make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours as you pray these prayers. Chains from the grave. Break away from my feet. In the name of Jesus. Break the chains from the grave. Jesus name we pray second prayer be more aggressive thou power of resurrection overshadow my feet in the name of Jesus thou power of resurrection overshadow my feet overshadow my feet overshadow my feet in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray Serpents are signed against my feet Can your voice be loud and clear In the name of Jesus Kill the serpent Bakapota Satanikai Aboshandaraba in Jesus name we pray silence don't say anything now silence I command the fire of the God of Elijah to enter into every leg fire enter into every leg this place just out every plantation of darkness the leg the serpent the leg the scorpion the leg the sorcery power the leg, the witchcraft arrow in the leg. Come out, 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 in the name of Jesus. This is this is wonderful. Yes, those things that have been keeping your leg away from your prosperity. I see them being removed now. Say, any masquerading power hiding in my feet come out now in the name of Jesus. Any masquerading power hiding in my feet. Come out now. In Jesus' name we pray. There are three more prayers, beloved. Because it's a mnemonic surgical operation. I fire back. Every arrow of witchcraft fired into my feet. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number six. You will shout your feet loud and clear. My feet! Divide my Jordan! 
In the name of Jesus. Divide my Jordan. Divide it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Put the oil in your hand again. Aha. And apply it under your feet. Anoint under your feet. Under it. Aha. Apply it under your feet. And once you've done that, remain standing. Thank you, Jesus. I wish you could see what is happening here tonight. The kind of transaction that is taking place. The kind of breakthrough that is taking place. Rise on your feet once you've done that. Makatenda Rebo Shandia. Manikatendera Ba. You will now shout this seventh prayer louder than anyone around you. My feet. Hear the word of the Lord. Walk into your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Walk into it, walk into it. Maseka tela ka ya bo shanti raba. Da ribo soponde ke ya bo shanti. Walk into it. Walk into it. In Jesus name we pray. Father, I decree upon every feet represented here or connected to us that beginning from today, bad luck is over. Beginning from today, the angels of God shall carry your legs to where it will prosper your life. Beginning from today, by the decree of heaven, your leg will not walk you into danger, your leg will walk you into your place of prosperity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We continue with this prayer next week to conclude the deliverance of the fifth prayer. Before you go home, I'd like to encourage you to make sure you participate in this year's 70 days prayer and fasting because of the various situations surrounding us. Let us share the grace in fellowship. <laughs>